Hey there guys, welcome to the first Cupboard Assassin Sunday podcast. Um, I'm going to get it started in just a second, just waiting for everybody to get joined. Um, I will be using my webcam tonight. Now, I don't know whether the audio will sync up with the webcam. Uh, it might not do, so I apologise for that, but I will get it sorted for next week. Uh, so, basically what this is going to be, it's going to be an update on the channel and for you guys, for the subscribers, uh, to ask any questions you want. I'm going to be here for the next half an hour, so anybody who wants to get involved, wants to ask any questions, uh, feel free to drop them in the chat and I'll answer as many questions as possible. So, let's get the music stopped and let's hope this webcam actually works. Um, I have tested it, it does seem to work, but I just want to double check. Ooh, there I am. Awesome. So yeah, you guys, if anybody wants to um, drop any questions in the chat, I will answer them sort of now. I'm going to be here for the next sort of half an hour um, telling you about what's going on with the channel, any sort of gaming news that I've got. Now I'm going to start doing these probably every sort of other Sunday roughly. Depending on how this goes, this is just going to be a, basically a pilot. Um, just to see what the sort of interaction rate is, uh, whether people sort of want to join or whether it gets many people in. I thought it would be a good way to sort of interact with you guys who do watch the channel as a bit of a sort of thanks to, the, thanks to you. Um, but yeah, so at the moment obviously the channel is growing. Uh, we're currently at, what are we currently at? Let me have a look. Uh, two seconds. We're currently 379 subscribers. Um, so that's pretty good. We're trying to obviously push for 500 if we can by sort of the end of next month, which would be great. So if you guys haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, we're getting some comments. Nice haircut. Cheers for that. Thank you very much. Um, El Watco is somebody I actually work with. Um, and he's a big fan of the channel. He's always commenting on all the, uh, on all the stuff, which is great. And another thing for you guys, if you can, obviously, as this sort of goes ahead and I start to do more of these, I will do sort of shout outs to people that are getting... Uh, sort of doing comments, liking videos, and sort of are interacting with the channel. So thanks for that. Um, yeah, so we have started doing the retro stuff, as you can sort of see behind me. Um, I've started collecting, obviously, Xbox Originals, and I am going to start going through some of those, doing a few gameplay videos for you guys. So if there is any games that you guys would like to see, obviously drop them down in sort of the comments. So let me know in the chat tonight. Uh, that would be great. So any gaming news that's come out, I'm still waiting for the, uh, the drop for the DLC 3 for, for Zombies. I actually thought it would have come out this Thursday, but it hasn't for some reason. Um, I'm presuming, or I'm hoping, it's going to come out this Tuesday. Um, really looking forward to that. Obviously on Xbox we are not going to be getting that for another month, but it'd be nice to see exactly what the new map's like. Um, not really played much Zetsubo no Shima, to be honest, recently. Um, I do like the map, to be honest, but I was a big, big fan of the Eisendrak, but for some reason I just cannot get into Zetsubo. I don't know why. Um... It is a good map, but there has been a lot in the community that have said sort of the same thing, that Zetsubo, it's a good map, but they've just not been able to get into it for some reason. Uh, there are a couple of Easter eggs that are still left to be sort of sold by the community, so hopefully those will come up soon. Um, but yeah, so if any of you guys are watching, obviously, please drop me uh, sort of questions or comments in the chat. Uh, like I said, depending on how this goes, we'll do it sort of weekly or sort of two weekly or monthly. It's basically just a pilot for me to see whether this is anything good for you guys that are actually watching or whether it's kind of a, a waste of time. It's up to you. Um, any other updates I've sort of got on the channel? Now, obviously, we are growing pretty fast. Like, over the past couple of weeks, I don't know why, whether it's just that my videos are getting higher, or whether it's that you guys are sort of interested in more of the content that I'm putting out. But I am getting a lot more views, which is really, really good. And, you know, a massive thanks to everybody who is watching the videos, and to all the people that are sort of subscribing. Um, now, carrying on from this, obviously, I am going to start doing more zombie stuff. We're going to jump into obviously the Xbox original stuff, uh, and we are going to be doing some more Battlefront because I haven't done a lot of Battlefront recently, uh, and I really want to sort of get back into the game. Now I haven't actually bought the uh, the DLC pack. Um, I'm I'm umming and ahhing whether to buy it or not. Originally, I was actually going to buy the Battlefront um, DLC and not the COD one, but then I bought the COD one, and I sort of haven't got around to buying the one for uh, Battlefront. But I think I will do that. I think I will at some point. Um, I, I was really, really looking forward to Battlefront, but it, it's kind of one of the things, after I played it for a while, I was kind of like, this isn't, I'm not a massive multiplayer fan, to be totally honest. Even on Call of Duty, uh, I'm not hugely into sort of the multiplayer. It is really all about the zombies. Uh, if Battlefront could bring out sort of a kind of um, campaign, that'd be brilliant. You know, I'd be well into that. I'm well into doing all sort of the kind of tasks task type things, like the training missions and the little missions. They are really sort of cool. Um... But yeah, uh, what we've got, what new games are you getting, current, retro? So yeah, the next new game, I'm, well, the next sort of two big games that I'm looking forward to is obviously Battlefront 1. I'm sure you guys out there are looking for Battlefront 1. Um, 
the new Call of Duty when that gets dropped. I, I will be getting that, although I do say I'm not sort of big into the multiplayer. I want to see what the new sort of zombies thing's like, whether it's going to put up to sort of Treyarch standard. I doubt it, but hopefully it will. Hopefully it will be sort of a new storyline that we can get involved in. Um, but if not, yep, yeah, uh, retro-wise, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm trying to collect the extra Xbox original at the moment. Um, actually, talking about that, I've got... Let me just find it. Two seconds. I actually managed to get this um, the other day, which I used to absolutely love on PC, but I didn't actually know that they did it on the Xbox. Now, I actually got it for four quid, and when I've checked on sort of eBay, it is kind of quite a rare game for some reason. I don't know why, um, but it is qu uh, quite a rare game. Um, it's actually going for sort of between sort of 10 and 16 quid on eBay, so I think I got myself a bit of a bargain there. Um, I don't know whether this one actually is... Yeah, it is. Right, the shop that I actually get them from, I have no idea where they source their games from. Um, but the quality of, like, the manual, for example, this is second hand, obviously, is, like, it's perfect, pretty much. Shouldn't really put that right in front of the mic, because you probably can't hear me. But the quality of the disc, it looks like it's never been touched. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But the, the disc has got, like, zero scratches on it, so I really would know, love to know where the, uh, the guy gets these games from that I actually buy from the, uh, from the shop. Uh, where I actually currently live, there's sort of a couple of sort of retro shops, which is really good for me, sort of collecting games. Um... But yeah, so Xbox-wise, there, there's a couple of Xbox original games I am sort of looking for. There's sort of I do want the original Battlefront, but it's so highly priced. It, I'm not paying that amount of money. If I see it out in the wild, I'll probably buy it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the games I'm getting at the moment. Um, Watch Dogs, obviously, as well, once that comes out. Uh, Karina, hi. Um, yep, so yeah, they're probably sort of the games. What kind of games are you, what are you looking forward to? Uh, L Watco, what games are, uh, are you wanting to get? I am having a bit of a drink tonight as well. I'm hoping not to have too much to drink because I don't want to be battling on on this stream, to be totally honest. Um, yeah, if uh, if there is anybody else sort of watching at the moment and you're not subscribed to the channel, me, please make sure to subscribe. Um, we do sort of Call of Duty stuff, mainly zombies. Um, I've started doing some Rocket League stuff as well. I'm, I'm kind of big getting into Rocket League. I know Rocket League isn't the game for some people, but for me, I find it highly addictive. And I'm kind of getting there with it, actually. Um, at first, I was kind of like, oh, it's going to be quite the same, but it is really, really addictive. So anybody who's not got it, I would highly re recommend you get it. Talking about games as well, I have a bit of an issue at the moment. I really, really want Black Ops 1. And I've been trying for about the past week to get it uh, on the Xbox Store. And for some unknown reason, it's changed to bundle. Whenever you click it, it says it can't, you cannot find it. Um, now, I don't know why, so I contacted Xbox Port about a week ago. They looked into it, said we'll get it sorted, try in a couple of days. So I tried again yesterday to get it again, the same thing. The guy on the website, or sorry, on the live chat was like, oh, go to this location, you should be able to get it. Went to it, still again can't get it. Uh, then I found another link which said that the game was 24.99. Now, that's fine. I mean, at the moment in the shops, it's like £15 to buy the disc. So I was hoping for £24.99 that that actually came with a DLC, but it doesn't. Now, it used to be £11. I think it was like £11.99. And then for some unknown reason, they've upped the price. Now, I know why they've upped the price, because obviously the hard copy or the disc copy is sort of quite seen after. So there's a lot of people wanting it. So obviously that's driven the price up. But when I've actually worked it out, it's actually more expensive to buy Black Ops 1 and the full DLC than it is to buy Black Ops 3 and the Seasons Pass, which I think is ridiculous. I mean, I know the game is a, is a good game, if you want to call it that, um, but it is an old game, so for it to be the same price as Black Ops 3, I think it's ridiculous. Um, now, I understand, obviously, you know, supply and demand kind of things, but I think it's really stupid. Now, apparently Xbox have put a complaint in, well, not complaint in, sorry, they've passed my complaint onto Activision, so I am waiting for them to come back. I mean, I'm happy to pay, like, 30, 35 quid for the game and the full DLC. That's absolutely fine, but I'm not paying a massive price. It's, it's mainly just so I can go back and play the Zombies maps, to be totally honest. Uh, I don't see why I should have to pay the same price as Black Ops 3 for Black Ops 1. If people disagree with me, drop me a comment, let me know why, but... I personally think I'm right, but anyway. Um, El Watco, pre-ordered Forza Horizon 3. I'm probably going to get Battlefield 1. Brilliant. I looked at sort of Forza Horizon 3, and as you probably know, I was going to get Forza 6. Um, but I never in the end. Um, I might get Horizon. I mean, Horizon, I played was Horizon 2, or it was one of them on, on 360. 
and I liked it, but I wasn't massively into it. I'm not massively into card games anyway, to be totally honest with you. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Uh, definitely, Battlefield, de definitely Battlefield 1, definitely going to be getting that. That app looks absolutely awesome. I think Battlefield is pretty much smashed COD out of the, out of the water. I mean, it always does anyway, but it's smashed COD out of the water this year. Um, I think everybody's going to be getting Battlefield, then they'll be getting, obviously, COD. But I think multiplayer-wise, as always, I think Battlefield beats it, hands down. And, and the graphics look amazing, and they're sort of going back to World War, which is what I wish COD would do. I wish COD would go away from all this stupid futuristic stuff, uh, which is why I don't really play the multiplayer, because it's, it's all about bouncing about, jumping about. It's, there's, there's no sort of skill in it anymore, and the maps are tiny. Um, you literally, you spawn, and then you get killed most of the time, because you, the maps are that small that the spawning areas uh, are just ridiculous. But, yeah, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else, any other games I'm getting at all. No, there's, there's nothing sort of... I mean, I was actually talking to a friend today about that, and I can't actually think of anything else really good that's actually coming out um, that I'm actually going... Um, I'm, I'm thinking of getting anywhere. Um, if you guys have got any sort of um, suggestions or any games that you know that are coming out that are going to be good, obviously drop them either in the comments on this video when it comes up, because this video will be on demand, hopefully. Um, so if you're not watching this live now, drop me comments below and what you obviously thought of it, whether you think we should carry on doing this. Or whether you just think it's a load of crap. But anyway. But yeah. Any games that you guys can think of or want to recommend. Because you think they would be quite good. Make sure to drop them either in the chat. Or drop them in the comments. Um, yep. I've not got many other people at the moment. I can't actually see how many people are watching this at the moment. Let me just have a look. Or am I just talking to myself? You see my stats don't update for some reason. I don't know why. Um, uh, don't fancy the new card. Only Modern Warfare. Backwards compatibility. Hope we do it separately. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the Modern Warfare, Modern Day Modern Warfare one. Um, as far as I'm aware, they're not going to do it separately, and I think the reason for that is, well, to be honest, from what I've actually heard from sort of the community and that, most people are buying it for the Modern Warfare. They're not buying it for the um, for the new one. Um, so I think that's why they bundled it in. Else, what happened is everybody would buy Modern Warfare and nobody would buy um, the other ones. Oh, sorry, the new one even. But yeah, it'd be nice if they did do it. But I whether or not they bring the 360 version out backwards compatible at some point, I don't know. I'm they might do that, I think. I, or I don't even know if it is already. But I can imagine they might might sort of pull that sort of one that they'll move the Xbox 360 version backwards compatible. Um, and then people can get that on the backwards compatible thing. But hopefully they do. But I, I, have, a, I have a really big feeling that they're not going to do it separately. It is going to be all part of the bundle, bundle. So you've got to buy Infinity Warfare. To actually get it, which is a bit of a shame, but well, yeah. Um, I see two people. Oh, you see two people. So that'd be you and El Watco, probably. <laughs> um, I mean, what just quick things people that are watching is the audio and the webcam synced up properly or not? Um, looking on my screen, obviously, it looks like it is, but I can't really tell without obviously watching the stream back. Um, call of money, yeah. Hashtag call of money. That's, that is what they're doing it for, for the money. They're obviously selling it with Modern Warfare to uh, to get more people to buy it, because a lot of people will buy it for Modern Warfare, not for um, not for the Infinity War. I'm, I'm sure it is going to be a good game, don't get me wrong, I'm sure it's going to be a good game, but the thing is, they're moving towards, again, the future. If they'd go back like Battlefield had done, I mean, even even saying that, I mean, Battlefield hasn't really gone to the future. All, all you know, Battlefield 4 was pretty much a nowadays game. Um, but, yeah, if Call of Duty would go back, then, yeah, I think they would do a lot better. But a lot of people are getting fed up with this sort of futuristic sort of mode. Um, Jetpacks and bouncing about and, and stupid guns. I mean, there was a lot of a meme a while ago that was like Call of Duty originally and Call of Duty now, and it's it's just turned into it's it's stupid now. Um, don't get me wrong, the game is good, the multiplayer is good for people who like that sort of thing. Um, but every year it's the same thing. There's there's no real change in it. Yeah, you get different guns. Yeah, the, these levels are like different and everything like that. But it's exactly the same. You know, if you look at the last Call of Duty to today's Call of Duty, it's pretty much the same. The graphics have got better, obviously, but that's about it. The gameplay itself and the the you know the dynamics behind it are exactly the same. Um, right, yeah. So obviously the webcam and the audio is slightly out. I'll get that changed for next time we do it, guys. Um, as I said, this is just basically a pilot. I just want to see how it goes, see if we sort of get any interaction or not. 
Um, it's also mainly to test whether this actually works or not. Um, main reason of doing it is I thought, well, it, it's something for me to do. I can just sit online. If people want to ask questions, can ask questions. Um, and if anybody's got any like problems with certain videos, like they want to know how to do sort of this step or that step, they can ask, and I can comment it live. And also, it gives a bit of interaction to people that actually watch the channel. Um, I mean, talking about interaction as well, I get a lot of people in the comments that are like, oh, blah, 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 great videos, can you check my, uh, like, sub for sub sort of stuff? I'm not into sub for sub. I mean, 90% of the time, to be totally honest, if you put a comment on my channel, I will actually go and check your channel out anyway, just out of courtesy, because you've taken the effort to look into my channel, I'll look at your channel as well. Um, but I'm not going to do a sub for sub thing. If you want to subscribe to the channel because you enjoy the content, brilliant. And I will check your content out, and if I enjoy it, I will subscribe to you, obviously, but I'm not just going to do sub for sub because a lot of people focus on subscribers for some reason, but you should really focus more on your views. With more views, you'll get more subscribers. You can have a thousand subscribers and like a hundred views a day. It doesn't mean you're a massive channel, or you could have a thousand views a day and 300 subscribers. You're doing better with them, thousand views, because more people are actually watching your content rather than having dead subscribers. Um, any more in the chat? Not much more in the chat. Uh, the weather today is a bit crap. It was it was all right uh, earlier on, but it's peeing it down at the moment. Down the fosters get plastered and go on a ramble. <laughs> yeah, I might have to do that one day. Although I'll just be slurring my words all over all over stream, and I'll end up on one of those um, like top ten stupidest things that happened on stream. Although I won't call, feel free to do that yourself, you know. A couple of drinks down here, get yourself on stream, webcam. I'm sure you'll do great. <laughs> oh. I really don't know what else to say, because I mean, this is this literally is just uh, a sort of a test stream for me. Um, let me just see what my... I'm going to have a quick look at something in a second. See if there's any more people joining. I don't know why, but for some reason... Um, I can't actually see how many people are watching, which is a bit weird. So, yeah. Uh, sorry, I missed that comment. Yeah, uh, Karina, you're getting Final Fantasy. Actually, that's... I was tempted to get that, because I, I used to really like this sort of Final Fantasy stuff. Um, and I did see it re revealed at E3, and it did look pretty pretty awesome. So if you do get that, you'll have to uh, let, us know, let us know what it's like. Or ask uh, Mr. Caffeine to let us know what it's like. I know he said his real name then. Good job I didn't. Um, right, where the hell are we now? There we go. Down the Fosters. Uh, showing free. Showing free? Oh, right, sorry, yeah. Free people watching. That's pretty cool. Um, if you are watching, obviously, drop me a, drop me a comment in the, uh, the chat so I know who is watching. Obviously, I'm answering any questions that you guys have obviously got that you want to... Uh, it can be anything. It can be about myself personally, about the channel about gaming questions, you want to discuss anything, whatever, just drop it in the chat um, and we'll talk about it. Like I said, this is just basically like a pilot for me. I just want to see sort of, A, can my connection support what I'm actually doing? B, can I create some sort of show out of it? And C, are people interested in it? Is it something that people would want to get involved in? You know, on a Sunday you don't have, you know, I'm getting hiccups already from, from drinking this beer. I've only had two. Um... Yeah, I will call it, I'm not going into politics. That creates a whole rival of stuff. But yeah, um, this is. I just want to see whether people would be interested in it. I thought it was a good way for sort of subscribers on the channel or people that watch the videos to sort of interact with me. I mean, I do try and answer sort of all the um, the comments and the questions and anything that you guys put in. You know, if it's worth it. Obviously, if you just put in "go to my video," I like it. Blah blah blah. I'm not going to answer really, but. Um, if you put something sort of constructive or good in sort of any of my videos, I will definitely uh, comment you back. You know, if you ask a question, I'll always try and answer your question, or I'll point you in the right direction. But I thought this is like a quite an easy way to live stream. People can get involved, we can have talks. I mean, I'm looking at maybe doing like a hangout one, so people can actually themselves physically actually connect in, so that you can be, we can sort of talk backwards and forwards on sort of the, uh, on the chat here. Um, Boris for PM, yeah. Well, maybe. Maybe, or maybe Farage. Or maybe the pair, they can go into a coalition. There's a, if there is any American um, 
viewers watching now, they're probably like, what are you on about? But yeah. Do, 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 do. Now hopefully, I've never actually tested this, just as off the top it. The little subscribe now button in the top corner that's got obviously 379. I'm hoping that if somebody subscribes that that number will actually go up and it's not just a number that's taken from um, when I start the stream. Although I have lost one subscriber today. Hmm. Never mind. <laughs> oh dear. Is anybody else joining? Or oh, am I just waffling onto myself? Oh. So yeah, um, uh, trying to think of anything else I can uh, let you know what's going on with the channel. Oh yeah, um, like I said, I am going to start doing obviously the Xbox original stuff. Um, I am going to do a series soon. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do Halo or I'm going to do another game. I was going to do Halo, but then I thought there's probably 101 people that have done Halo series. And people are probably more interested in sort of Xbox original um Games I've not seen before, sort of complete... I'm not going to do, like, complete walkthroughs. It'll just be, like, series of, like, maybe, I don't know, two hours of gameplay, but I'll split it up over, sort of, seven videos so you're not sat there watching two hours. And you can come back and watch bits whenever you want to. Um, do you know, I actually... I actually might do um, Roller Coaster Tycoon because I used to absolutely love Roller Coaster Tycoon on PC. I didn't actually even know it came out on Xbox. I said I saw it the other day. Um... By the looks of it, the graphics are exactly the same. Do you know what? I'm actually tempting myself to give this a go tonight. I might actually give this a go tonight. Um, oh dear. So yeah, this stream's going to be sort of about half an hour. It's more of a test stream for me. More of a kind of get an idea as to what's happening. Um, and the longer I stay here, the more drink I'm going to have. And we're going to end up in a right ramble. Um... Um, um, that's all I seem to be saying is, um, 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 is the actual mic audio any good? People that are watching, can you actually hear me alright, or am I really quiet? I mean, I've got my headset on at the moment, trying to monitor it, and it sounds loud enough to me, but that might just be because I've got the volume up quite high on the mic here. God, my head looks really shiny. <laughs> Hello. Du -du -du Paul of money. I keep looking between sort of the two different things. Um, is this dropping off? Is this stream running constant? Because when I'm flicking between one from sort of YouTube to obviously what I'm streaming through, uh, it looks like it's dropping off a bit. So if you guys could let us know, that'd be absolutely brilliant. Um, and then obviously I can change my settings for next time if, if needs be. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, it seems to be alright. It doesn't seem to have dropped any frames, so that's that's a good thing. So, yeah, what do you guys think that are watching, obviously, at the moment? Obviously, we haven't got many people in tonight, which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. It's been it's been a good sort of, like, test for me. What do you guys think? Is this something you've been interested in seeing more of, or are you not really interested? Obviously, I'm, I, I'm doing it more to, obviously, interact with people, have a bit of a, like, discussion, hopefully. Maybe it's something I should wait until I've got a few more subscribers, a few more people sort of watching the channel, um, and then get into it at that point. But let us know, obviously, in the in the chat, or if you are watching this on demand, let us know in the uh, in the comments below uh, what you think. It keeps lagging for me, but assuming it was my broadband. Uh, Karina, who's obviously watching, well, might might still be watching. Is it lagging for you, or is it is it um, is it the same? Are you getting lag? I mean, looking at my actual thing, let me just go back to what I'm screaming for. You see, I, it's telling me I've not dropped any frames, which usually would say to me that I'm lagging out, but it's not telling me I've dropped any frames, which is, which is pretty cool. Well, from my side anyway, but obviously if you guys are experiencing lag, um, I need to get that sorted out. That's one of the things when you're doing the streaming, you don't know whether it's going to work. I've been testing, testing, testing from my end, like I have been doing for about half an hour to an hour testing, and it looks fine. But it's until you actually push it straight through onto the stream. You just do not know whether or not it's going to work or not. So let me know whether you know, you've know you got any issues. Um, obviously I will review the video afterwards to make sure, you know, make any changes that I need to for next week. I'm just waffling on here I think. Oh dear. I'm trying to think if there's any, uh, I keep forgetting if I turn away from my mic you can't hear me properly. Oh. 
No, I don't think I've got any sort of golden sort. Do you know what I might do actually as well when we start doing these streams? I don't know why I'm looking at my mic rather than actually looking at the camera. When we start doing these streams, I might sort of, when I get sort of retro games, I'll get like little collections each week. I might hold them until they stream and then show you each week, bit by bit, exactly what I've sort of got. Um, can have sort of a discussion about that. Uh, nobody else seems to be sort of answering. We'll give it another couple of minutes, uh, see if anybody else joins. If nobody else joins, then we will uh, call it a night tonight. Um, but thanks to the guys, obviously, so far that have got involved. Um, we'll probably do this again in a, sort of a couple of weeks. Maybe once the subscribers have grown a bit and um, get maybe a bit more attention about it. I've literally just sort of gone online and gone like, let's do this tonight. Um, but I'll maybe advertise it over sort of uh, a week or two, put a, put a date and a time together and hopefully we'll get sort of more people involved. Um, I got this idea because there's a guy that I actually subscribe to that I watch and he does sort of a very similar thing. Not sort of a, a Sunday Live kind of podcast. He does random sort of podcasts now and again and interacts with fans. And I thought it was quite a good idea, sort of quite a cool thing to sort of do. Do, 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 do. It doesn't look like there's many other people joining. Although, like I said, I can't actually tell who's joined and who's not joined. Um, see, it kind of look. Uh, see, I don't know why my stats don't update, which is a bit annoying, but I'm not quite sure why my stats don't update. Do, do, do. And now I've lost the chat. Where's the chat gone? There it is. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't look like there's many other people uh, sort of joining. So I'll just give you a bit of a sort of last update on uh, what is going on with the channel. Um, so over the next couple of weeks, we are going to carry on doing more Black Ops uh, 3 zombie stuff. I'm going to do a bit of content on uh, Rocket League, a few more Rocket League videos. And I am going to drop a couple of Xbox original videos. Um, obviously looking forward to the new stuff that's coming out, Wise of uh, Battlefield 1 and the new Call of Duty. Now they're coming out obviously later on in the year. Um, but any sort of updates or trailers or drops or anything like that, we'll discuss. Them. Oh, pardon me. We'll discuss them on the channel. Um, but yeah, this video will be on demand hopefully. And if it is, please drop a comment below on what you think of it. Whether it's something that we should carry on doing or whether you're not really interested at the moment. If so, we'll give it a couple of months and we'll come back to it. Um, but again, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, I know it's been really sort of short and sweet. It's been a bit of a pilot for me, a bit of a test to see whether or not this works. Um, but hopefully we'll do it again soon. So make sure to check out. If you're not on Twitter, if you're not sorry, if you're on Twitter, make sure to follow at Couple Assassin. And if you're on Facebook, make sure to uh, like Couple Assassin. I drop all videos that are coming out on both of those sort of media, so you're made, made aware of it. Any news I also drop on there and stuff like this. I will start to make announcements on it if it's something that people are interested in. Thank you very much for watching anyway, guys. And make sure to check out all our videos on the channel. If you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe. And as El Watko said, maybe do it once a month. I might look at doing that. I think that's probably what we'll do. We'll do it once a month. And then if it gets really popular, uh, we'll do it more often. But thanks for watching, guys, anyway. Uh, it's been great. Speak to you soon. Bye.